guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my self-care routine or self-care tips for busy mums. I wanted to make this video because I think it's so important to prioritize ourselves as mums. And I know that's really hard to do when you're looking after little children, but by doing a few different things a week, it can make such a difference to your well-being and your mood and your health. So I wanted to share with you the tips that I do to keep myself sane and just look after myself. My first tip is to move more and exercise. Now I will be the first to admit that I am not a very natural fitness person and I have never been good at sport but recently to get back to my pre-baby weight I have been working out and getting more active and there is no doubt about it it definitely makes me feel so much better you don't have to go to the gym for hours on end just doing simple things as easy as getting out with the buggy taking the kids out for a walk can do so much for your mood or what I also like to do is small little hit routines which you can literally do anywhere anytime my next tip is to do some pampering, and I know you're probably thinking, who has time for that? But honestly, even just a shower or a 15 minute bath makes you feel like a new woman. Every couple of weeks, I will do a couple of beauty treatments. I like to have a little bit of me time by lighting some candles, getting rid of the bath toys, and filling up the tub. I've really been loving the Mythic Olive Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo. It is a weightless shampoo and it is specifically for dried out hair, which as you can see, I have a lot of. I really like the smell of this. I really like that it has no parabens in it and I like that it helps me detangle my hair but also doesn't weigh it down. Every couple of weeks, I like to do a hair treatment because my hair is so thin and so dry. I've been trying out the Mythic Olive one also from Garnier. It's a bit like a hair mask but it's actually a nourishing balm. So once your hair is all clean, all you have to do is run this through your hair from like the middle of your hair all the way down to the bottom so you get all of the ends nourished. And you can leave this on for a minute or five minutes, however long you think you need. Then I just rinse it off and style as normal and my hair feels so much softer. I also like to do a face mask once a week and because my skin is quite dry, I have really been loving Garnier's Moisture Balm Tissue Mask. It is super hydrating and it lasts for one week. Kind of just move it around your face, like adjust it into place and leave it on for 15 minutes. And honestly, afterwards, my skin feels so much more hydrated. My next tip is to eat well. And although that sounds really simple and easy to say, I think as mums, we forget about ourselves because we're so busy worrying about what our kids are eating, we kind of forget to eat. Like I have forgotten to have breakfast so many times. So now I have got into the habit of having a really quick, healthy breakfast, which is a protein shake that is loaded up with spinach, sometimes bananas, it has protein powder in it, sometimes a bit of almond butter and almond milk. And it's so easy and quick to make in the morning. So I tend to just have that every morning now. I just find as well when I'm really hungry, I just reach for the wrong things because I can't be bothered to actually make things when I'm starving. So a really good tip is to have things ready in the fridge that you can snack on. So whether it be like carrot sticks that you then have with hummus or have cut up fruit that is in zipped up bags and ready to eat as well. This is also great for the kids too. Or have some nuts or cottage cheese, just snacks like that really help me eat better. Another huge tip for eating well is meal planning. By meal planning, I make sure that I have a healthy dinner almost every night. We just need to fuel ourselves so that we have enough energy to look after our crazy kids. The next thing that really helps me is to write things down. I find it quite hard to go to sleep at night if I have lots of things going around in my head. So one thing I do is get a pen and paper and I will write down literally everything in my head that I feel I need to do or whatever I'm thinking about. And once I've written it down onto paper, I feel like it's out and then I can relax. Very therapeutic writing stuff down. In the morning, I will write a list at breakfast of the things I want to achieve or get done that day. And by writing it all down, it gives me a focus and a list to follow. Every year as well, I like to write a list of the goals and things I want to achieve in that year. And even just by writing it down, I feel like it is a step towards achieving that. My next tip is to get ready every morning. And I know that may sound strange, but when you have a very small baby, it's very easy to just stay in, in your leggings, in your joggers, on the couch, doing nothing for days on end. <laughs> 
but I feel personally so much better if I do a tiny bit of makeup and actually put clothes on. I really don't wear very much makeup from day to day, but I find that even just putting on a little bit of tinted moisturizer, concealer, brows and blusher makes me feel so much better. And same goes with clothes. Rather than staying in my hoodie and leggings every day, I find even just putting on like jeans and a t-shirt makes me feel so much better. And then with that kind of outfit, you can instantly dress it up with some easy slip-on shoes and also like a jersey blazer. And my last tip is to laugh as much as you can because kids are actually really, really funny. But when we're with them every single day, it's exhausting and it can be frustrating. But if you actually step back from a situation and look at what's actually going on, it's really funny. So, you know, if your kid is running around naked with toilet paper, you've got to laugh at it sometimes. I find that that really helps with my mood. And just I try to be as positive as I can. Every evening, I like to think about what was the best thing that happened that day and we have also got in the habit of asking the boys what was the best thing that happened today so that they also end their day on positive notes as well. Right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you liked my tips and sometimes I think it's good to remind ourselves to have a little bit of me time and look after ourselves because happy mum, happy babies. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.